Do you want to achieve these effects? Today we're going to learn two methods to achieve these effects. These two methods work for various repainting demands. Take changing hair color as an example. First, let's outline the process of changing hair color before building nodes. Step 1. Recognize the hair by manually smearing it or automatically recognizing it. Step 2. Edit the recognized area through partial repainting. Next, take steps to build nodes. Step 1. Recognize the hair. After uploading the image, add the segment, anything node, drag out the node, and load two corresponding models. Connect the image to the node and enter the area to be recognized, hair. To make recognition more precise for the mask, add another segment, anything node, to recognize the face. Connect the input to the models of the hair. Finally, add the mask mask node to subtract the face mask from the hair mask to get the precise hair part. When some parts cannot be recognized or are inaccurately recognized, you can use this mask subtraction method. Once the mask is generated, you can process the mask, such as adding grow mask and feathered mask nodes to expand and feather the mask, making the final repainted image more natural. Finally, add the preview image node to view the final mask effect. This way, the hair is precisely recognized. Step 2. Partial repainting. Add the previously mentioned Set Latent Noise Mask node, which will repaint the original image. Then connect the mask node. Next, add the model group. Similar to the IMG2IMG process, add the model, prompts, sampler, and decoding separately. Arrange them together and connect the mask group with the model group. Note that the image needs to be encoded into the latent space for repainting. After connecting all nodes, enter the corresponding prompts based on your needs and set the relevant parameters. The maximum denoise, repainting strength, is 1. Now a hair color change process is done. When repainting the face, it is recommended to add the face detailer node to repair the face. Connect the input to the corresponding node. Besides, since only the face needs to be repainted, you don't need to perform mask subtraction. You can select the corresponding nodes to hide them with Ctrl plus B and connect the corresponding nodes. This kind of repainting changes the entire face, seemingly creating a different person. For how to achieve different expressions for the same person, we'll post a more detailed guide later. Finally, rename and save this workflow for future use. We can also use the second method, the YOLO World ESAM node. This method can individually cut out an object faster but not as precise as segment anything. Some parts, like the stomach, might be undetectable. You can use this method with the Mask Mask node. First, follow the same steps as with the Segment Anything node. Add the YOLO World ESAM to automatically recognize the parts to be repainted. Take one-click muscle enhancement as an example. You can perform upscale on the original image first. Since the areas to be muscle enhanced cannot be directly recognized, you can use the Mask Mask node to get the repainting area and process the mask area. Connect the mask to the mask repainting node. In Paint Model Conditioning. The prompt is only effective for the mask area. Similar to the IMG2IMG process, add the model, prompts, sampler, decoding, and preview image for repainting. Adjust the relevant parameters and click Generate. You can achieve the one-click muscle enhancement effect. The two methods above are not only for hair color changes and muscle enhancement. We can achieve one-click breast enhancement, one-click expression change, one-click clothing changes, and other effects through partial repainting. Many more repainting effects are waiting for you to unlock. Come try them out.